Now, turning now to breaking news in Newark, New Jersey, where authorities are on the scene of a police-involved shooting. CBS News' Natalie Dutrich is live at the scene with the details. Natalie. Hi there, Chris and Mary. Yes, and this is still an active scene. Early this morning, police responded to a home just down the street here where there was apparently a stolen vehicle parked. When they approached it, they say someone behind the wheel tried to drive into them, leading an officer to fire at the car. One man inside that vehicle was shot. I just heard a couple shots, that's all. And how many? Like. Say like 10. Residents on Lyons Avenue woke up early this morning to the sound of gunshots. At 6.30, police were called by a resident reporting a stolen car with people sleeping in it behind a house. Four officers responded and tried to approach the car that had two people inside. The car immediately, uh, you know, tried to take off. Uh, going towards the officers. That's when an officer fired and one man in the car was struck by a bullet. It's unclear where he was hit. He's now in stable condition at University Hospital. It sounds like their priority was immediately uh, to help ensure that the suspect lived and provided him aids. Meanwhile, the officers are being evaluated at a local hospital. They're not physically injured. Uh, however, all four of them are, you know, obviously, you know, shook, shook from this incident. Uh, two of them are, are younger. The mayor actually just swore they're in. Investigators say the vehicle was stolen yesterday from Asbury Park. The car was left running. People jumped in the car. Most of the cars that are being stolen, 70% or more of these cars are being stolen because the cars are left running. And authorities say the other person inside the car tried to run but was apprehended without injury. We're live in Newark. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.